Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Chingola 2023 SYM. Thank you so much for joining us for yet another edition. So today is going to be a new day, a new spectacular day where we are going to see Father Eustace, one of our powerful speakers, who is going to speak to us about the yeast. It takes one to change the world. I am talking about the influence that as young people we can have on social media following the theme, the strain of our rector major becoming yeast in our world today. And I'm focusing on becoming yeast in social media. Yeast blows up. Yeast balloons up something. And it does that within the dough, within the flower. And if you are to transform the world, if you are to change anything, you must be somebody who goes inside the social media platforms, inside TikTok, inside Facebook, inside to do something that others will go through and start checking their conscience. Looking at the strainer and the theme of the pop, our youth, we believe in them because they are the yeast. Really, look, you look at the component of the yeast when you put in the flower, the way it rises. And we believe that this is what the youths are. We are here to work together with them and we, we know that they are going to produce more in their lives and especially to help other youths to really be productive. And we are doing different activities with the youths uh, for them to realize that their life is so precious and they can give to the world many things that they have as God has gifted them. I am accompanying uh, the young people uh, in the uh, understanding of the liturgy so that they can learn and appreciate it even better. There are also activities which we are uh, organizing uh, at the dinner de levels, the seminars, as well as uh, encouraging the young people in the sacraments. And this is how we are helping them uh, to become the hist, to realize that they are very important uh, component of the church uh, of, uh, of this modern, uh, modern world. I think in our center there are so many activities and especially like, uh, the first thing that we have to do is informing them on how they are supposed to be people of, uh, of the day. So looking at Malawi, we have got activities like uh, entrepreneurship that are always keeping the kids, like uh, you have to inform them on how they're supposed to relate with life and then how they're supposed to how face their own challenges in life. So talking of uh, the long way, we have got different centers and uh, in the youth center, there are some activities of concerning like uh, uh, personal growth, how a person can come to understand himself and then from understanding them, themselves or herself, that's where I was going to have the point of uh, him assisting the other people around him. So the basic point is that we inform them from informing them and then they go and be ambassadors of the of society at that particular moment of their well-being and of their, their life. We have got a primary school and we are helping the young people to leave the strainer of 2023 through spiritual animation that we have at school. We usually have challenge weekends and in all, all these programs we try to make sure that we nourish their spiritual life and we also follow in the step of uh, what the lecture major has said in this trainer to help them to be yeast so that they may be able also to transform the lives of other young people. How can I be yeast in today's world? Um, first I'll say um, in my home parish I would try as much as possible to um, be with the young people, um, those that are underage, uh, and make them, um, guide them. The first thing they have to start within myself, so because the moment the change starts within me, when I go out, when I go out, the certain family or to the or in, or, in, or in the location, I meet my brothers or my sisters. I invite them to the prayers. I invite them to the oratories. We can start sometime with, with sport after sport. Then we then we can pray. From there, I can have to engage into their lives and listen from them what they are going through. So I have to go within inside to find out what's what's the problem which they are facing. Uh, how I can be 
East to my fellow friends uh, is by preaching the gospel of God and by uh, bringing Christ to my fellow friends. As a cooperator or a mother of the young people in Namibia, in our parish, St. John Bosco, the way I'm trying the, to help them to become the youth of the community is by guiding them to do the right things. Starting from the moral values that they have to know that themselves as young people are the gospel whereby other people can look at them and be converted. There is no way that I am going to make a difference if I am just doing what everybody else is doing. The difference between a nurse recording the heartbeat of a patient and the fastest runner is that one records the beat, the other one beats the record. The one who records the beat just does what everybody else is doing, just does what has already been done. And as young people, if we are doing just what has already been done, just what everybody else is doing, everybody else is supporting LGBTQ rights and it seems novelty, everybody else seems to be modernized and fashionable, who goes for transgender kind of life, changing what God had done before, and I go for that. I am just recording the beat, but we are meant to beat the record, to go where there has never been any path, not going where the path may lead, but where there is no path, so that we may leave a trail. So youths, we love you and we pray that you may continue to give the best for your life. Thank you so much for joining us. I will call you our family because you've been joining us since morning. So um, today we had quite a number of speakers who spoke to us about a lot of things. We learned a lot and we as youths are happy. So tomorrow is going to be yet another beautiful day where we are going to see uh, people walking on a pilgrimage um, showing how much they love the Catholic Church or love their Catholic faith. Please join us on the Don Bosco Youth Network Zambia. Thank you so much. Bye family. See you tomorrow. Welcome.